Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about how to find an angle of elevation. So I'll share my screen with you. <clears throat> A, B, and C are th three points on the same horizontal line. The segment C, T represents a vertical tower. So it is at 90 degree. The segment C, T is at 90 degree to the segment A, C. The angle of elevation of T from point B is twice that from point A. So if the elevation angle at point A of T is theta, the elevation of T at point B is two times theta. The lengths of the segments AB and BC are 80 meter and 50 meter respectively. Show that the angle of elevation theta from A in the figure is given by sine inverse or arc sine square root of three by four. Okay. So in this problem, what we do not know is the height of the tower, CT. Let's call that X. So tangent of theta is X over 130. 80 plus 50 is 130. And tangent of 2 theta is equal to X over 50. Now we know tangent of 2 theta is equal to twice tangent of theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared theta. So hence tangent of 2 theta, which is X over 50, is equal to 2 two times tangent of theta, which is x over 130, divided by 1 minus x square, divided by 130 square. So what do we have? We have in the numerator 2 times x times 130 divided by 130. In the denominator, we have for 1, we can write it, write it as 130 square divided by 130 square minus x square by 130 square. We want to keep the denominators the same. Hence, we uh, changed 1 to 130 square divided by 130 square. So we get x over 50 is equal to 2x over 130 in the numerator divided by 130 square minus x square divided by 130 square in the denominator, which can be simplified as we write the numerator as it is 2x over 130. And then we multiply, we flip the denominator which becomes multiplied by 130 square divided by 130 minus x square. Hence, x over 50 is equal to 2x over 130 times 130 square divided by 130 square minus x square. Then we cancel the x and from the left and the right, and we cancel 130 in the denominator with the 1 130 in the numerator. So ultimately, we are left with 1 over 50 in the left-hand side of the equal to sign is equal to 2 times 130 divided by 130 square minus x square on the right side of the equal to sign. So if we cross multiply, 1 gets multiplied with 130 square minus x square, and that is equal to 2 times 130 times 50, which is equal to 13,000. Now, 130 square itself is... 16,900 minus x square equal to 13,000. Now we will add x square on both sides to get 16,900 is equal to 13,000 plus x square. Now <coughs> we'll subtract 13,000 on both sides to get 3,900. 16,900 minus 13,000 is 3,900 is equal to x square. Or x is square root of 3,900, uh, 3, okay? We will only consider the positive value because the height of the pole, which is X, cannot be negative. Now, sine of theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse, right? Sine of theta is X divided by square root of X square plus 130 square. So, which is X is square root of 3,900 and... 130 square in the denominator square root of 130 square plus x square is 3900. So ultimately we get 
sine of theta is square root of 3900 divided by square root of 20,800. Now, uh, square root of 3900 can be written as square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 39. And square root of uh, 20,800 can be written as square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 208. The reason we separate the square root of 100 because we can cancel square root of 100 in the numerator and denominator. So finally, we have sine theta and 39 can be broken up into its factors. Square root of 13, square root of 39 is square root of 13 times square root of 3 because 39 is 13 times 3. Okay. In the denominator, 208 can be broken up into its factor, which is square root of 4 times 13 times 4. So we are basically 4 square in the denominator. Hence, we can simplify. Uh, the numerator, leave it as square root of 13 times square root of 3, and the denominator will simplify to square root of 13 times 4, because the square root of 4 square is 4. Okay, so we cancel the two square root of 13, one from the numerator, one from the denominator with each other. So we will be left with sine theta is equal to square root of 3 by 4. Hence, theta is sine inverse square root of 3 by 4, which is same as arc sine square root of 3 by 4. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment or contact me by WhatsApp and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button and I'll come back next time with another problem. See you then. Take care. Have a nice day.